Hey everyone, I just would like to say that I'm thrilled to see so many of you here today for our workshop. And I wanna congratulate each and every one of you for showing up. By joining me, you've taken a significant step towards harnessing the power of AI in your, in your personal and professional lives. Your presence here shows that you're forward thinking and ready to embrace the cutting edge of technology. Together, we're going to embark on an exciting journey of creating your own custom GBT today. And let's get started. But before we dive into this workshop, I'd just like to share a bit about my background and why I'm so passionate about AI. So my name is Avi Hacker, and I'm the founder of the AI Consulting Network. I graduated from Brooklyn College with a degree in accounting, business management, and finance. My career began at PwC, where I focused on automation, security, IT controls, and risk management. This gave me a solid foundation in understanding how technology can transform business operations. I then pursued a law degree at Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law, specializing in real estate and corporate law. During law school, I worked for a solo practitioner for over two years, gaining hands-on experience in complex legal and business models. It was during this time that I discovered my passion for AI. I began exploring large language models and AI tools, realizing their immense potential to revolutionize various industries. This passion led me to launch the AI Consulting Network in February of 2024, combining all my unique backgrounds. Our mission is really to demystify AI for business owners like you, and I firmly believe that AI isn't just for tech giants or Silicon Valley startups. It's a powerful tool that can drive growth and efficiency for businesses of all sizes and across sectors. And as I immerse myself in AI, I was continually amazed by its transformative potential. And today I'm excited to share that knowledge and skill with all of you to help you unlock the possibilities for your own business. So now let's start by understanding what a custom GBT is and why it's so crucial in today's landscape. So a custom GBT is essentially a personalized version of an AI language model that's tailored to specific needs or tasks. Think of it as having your own AI assistant that's been specifically trained to understand your work with your unique information and requirements. The applications for custom GBTs are incredibly versatile. They can serve as personal assistants, document analyzers, question answering specialists, and many other specialized roles depending on how you configure them. One of the key advantages of a custom GBT is that it can be grounded in your personal knowledge base. This means it can incorporate your specific information of context, making its responses more relevant and accurate to your needs. This ability to understand your specific context and utilize your private data or documents sets custom GBTs apart from standard GBT models that you might um, deal with on the, just the regular interface. They go beyond the generic capabilities, offering a level of personalization that everyone wants and is, can significantly enhance the usefulness in your day-to-day -day tasks and your business operations. So now let's just get practical and walk through how to access the GBT creation interface. For this, we're going to use ChatGBT, which they are called GBTs, but the other large language models have their own different versions of them, but we're just going to touch on ChatGBT today. The process is pretty straightforward, but you'll need a ChatGBT Plus Teams or Enterprise account to create a custom GBT. If you have a free account, you can access and use custom GBTs created by others, but you won't be able to create your own. First, you need to log into your account, and once you're in, you'll look for the Explore option on the left side and click on it. This will take you to a new page where you'll find the option to create a GBT. Clicking this will open up the GBT Builder interface, and this is where the magic really happens. And don't worry if this seems daunting at first, we'll go through each step of the creation process together. The interface is designed to be user-friendly even for those who aren't tech experts.
So now that we're in the GBT Builder interface, let's go through the key steps of configuring your custom GBT. First, you'll need to give your GBT a name and provide a description. This helps define its purpose and makes it easier to find and use later. Next, you can upload a picture of your GBT. If you don't have something in mind, it will auto-generate something for you. The most crucial part of the configuration is writing the instructions for your GBT's behavior. This is where you should define how your GBT should interact, what knowledge it should use, and any specific guidelines it should follow. We'll dive deeper into this in the next slide. Finally, you can add conversation starters. These are preset prompts that users can click on to begin interacting with your GBT. They're great for guiding initial interactions and showcasing what your GBT can do. Remember, all of these elements can be refined later, so don't worry about getting them perfect on the first try. The instructions you give your GBT are crucial in determining how it will behave and what kind of assistance it will provide. Let's break down the components of good instructions set of good instructions set using the Rhodes framework that I personally love following for all of my instructions. This consists of the role, the objective, the details, examples, and a sense check to wrap it all up. For the role, you need to define what kind of expert your GBT will be in. In this example, we've defined it as an expert in marketing, copywriting, and general professional advice. For the objective, we clearly state what the GBT's goal is. Here, it's to provide the best possible assistance based on the user's specific information. For the details, we will provide specific guidelines on how the GBT should operate. For instance, we've instructed it to avoid hallucinations, use simple language, and focus on practical advice. The best way AI learns is based on examples. The more examples you give it, the better its output will be. So give concrete examples of how the GBT should respond in different scenarios. This helps to clarify your expectations. And finally, the sense check, which I always love putting at the end of my instructions. This is just a final confirmation to ensure the GBT understands its role and purpose. When writing your instructions, be as specific as possible about the knowledge your GBT should use and how it should behave. This will help ensure that it provides the most relevant and useful assistance. I'm going to provide this slideshow after the recording is done. So if you would like to copy and paste just this scenario, you could use this as a starting template. Conversation starters are an excellent way to guide users in their initial interactions with your GBT. They can help showcase what your GBT is capable of and prompt users to engage it in meaningful ways. In this example, we've added a conversation starter that instructs the GBT to review its knowledge before giving advice. This ensures that the GBT will provide informed, contextual responses rather than generic ones. The conversation starter also includes a prompt for the GBT to ask, what can I help you with? This open-ended question encourages users to start the conversation to seek assistance. When creating your own conversation starters, Think about the most common or useful ways users or yourself might want to interact with your GBT. Consider including prompts that highlight your GBT's unique capabilities or knowledge base. And a lot of times I always put a sample conversation starter like this because it might forget to look at the knowledge base that you uploaded. So just always reminding it at the beginning of the conversation to say, follow your instructions, look at your knowledge base, it ensures that it will follow your instructions. Now, here's one of the most powerful features that I love about custom GBTs, and that's the ability to add specific knowledge. This allows your GBT to provide more accurate and relevant responses based on the information that you provide. For a personal assistant GBT, you might wanna upload all of your, web, all of your website information, your LinkedIn profile, your resume, and any other personal or professional information that you'd like it to know. This way, when you go in and ask it a question to brainstorm a problem you're working on, it knows now all the context that you have in your mind, so you don't need to explain to it a, 
additional details that you have in past work experience or something you're doing in your business. This significantly improves the time to get a proper result. Now, if you're creating a specialized resource helper, you would have to change the instructions based on you, what you want to create, but you might, upload in the, you might upload in the knowledge base tax code, applicable rules and regulations, case law, any specific information relevant to your use case that you're trying to build, maybe property information for real estate applications. And just remember that the knowledge you add should align with the purpose of your GBT. The more relevant and comprehensive the information, the more effectively your GBT will be able to assist you. And it's important to note that while you can upload a wide variety of documents, you should always be mindful of the privacy and confidentiality. Only upload information that you're comfortable with the GBT using in its responses. Now, once you've set up your GBT, it's crucial to test and refine it to ensure it's performing as intended. This is a process that involves three main steps. You get to preview the interaction. You could use the preview panel to interact with your GBT, and this allows you to see how it responds to different queries and prompts. You could then analyze its performance. You could evaluate how well your GBT is performing in its intended tasks. Is it providing accurate information? Is it following the instructions you've given it? Is it addressing the user queries effectively? Now, based on the analysis, you can make necessary adjustments to your GBT. This might involve tweaking the instructions, adding more knowledge, or refining the conversation starters. And now remember, creating an effective custom GBT is often an ongoing process. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't work perfectly right away. Most of the time, they never do. I always constantly update my custom GBTs on a weekly basis almost. When I have, I'll be like, I don't like it when it's talking like that, or often I wanna change the tone of the conversation. And each, intera each interaction and refinement will improve its overall performance. And I encourage you to test your GBT thoroughly, trying out various scenarios and use cases. The more you interact with it, the better you'll understand its capabilities and areas for improvement. Now, once you're satisfied with your custom GBT's performance, it's time to publish it. And now here's how to do that. You would wanna review all the settings and instructions one last time. And when you're ready, you could click on the create or update button in the upper right-hand corner of the interface. You could choose your sharing setting. you will have three options. You could do private, that only you can access and use the GBT. You could do limited, you could share an access link with specific people, or you could publish it online that anyone can find and use your GBT. Then once you've, you've picked your correct sharing setting, you could click launch and your custom GBT is ready for use. Now remember, even after publishing, you can continue to refine and update your GBT as needed. You might find you might find areas for improvement as you and others use it more extensively. And that's really it. Congratulations, you've now created your own very custom GBT. This powerful tool can help streamline your work, enhance your productivity, and provide specialized assistance tailored to your needs. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to offer you an exclusive opportunity to continue your AI journey. I'm excited to introduce our AI Mastery Accelerator Program. This is designed to help you unlock AI's full potential for your business and personal growth. For just $1.99 a month, you'll get access to an elite community of committed AI enthusiasts where you can network and hold each other accountable. I will be in there and sharing my tips every single day on the best way to approach certain problems. This is more than just going on YouTube and watching videos. This will be a group where we learn and grow together. I will be sharing a weekly newsletter with cutting edge AI insights, and we will have a collaborative Q&A section where you could discuss any AI related issues you're facing, and I'll answer all questions and we could all work together to find solutions together. We will have weekly live office hours with me where you can get personalized guidance. And I've also included in there a con 
comprehensive AI mastery ebook that I personally wrote to get you started. But for the first 10 people who sign up today, I'm offering a, a special bonus, a free 60 minute AI accelerator session with me, where we'll discuss anything you want and accelerate your business and talk about the perfect way for you to jumpstart your AI journey. This program is perfect for those of you who want to take your AI knowledge to the next level and apply it effectively in your business or personal projects. It's an investment in your future, giving you the tools and knowledge to stay ahead in our rapidly evolving and digital landscape. And here's the link below if you would like to go there now. And if you're ready to accelerate your AI journey, head over to that link below to sign up. And I will also be sharing these slides after, and you could click the link in the slides. Remember, the special bonus is only for the first 10 people who sign up. So don't miss out on this opportunity. I just want to sincerely thank you all for attending this workshop. I hope you found it valuable and that you're excited about the possibilities that custom GBTs can bring to your work and life. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And here's to your success in the world of AI. Thank you, and I hope you all have a great day.